The Story of a Beginning I must face my courage, I must face my courage, I must face, said the little girl, clenching her fists so hard she could feel the sweat coming from her palms, as she could guess with the corners of her eye the threatening reflection in the glass of, a, of the nearby diorama of a perfectly shaped five-meter prehistorical skeleton. The time seemed that it stopped itself, guarded by the cold eyes of the sea elephant. Only her heart beaten in that marmorian tomb, bathed in the last shy sun rays of the day. She wouldn't dare to lift her eyes to meet the creature. The curl-thicked arrow-pointed teeth were fenced by a pair of long, majestic tusks of a mammoth, both circled by a light coming from above, which reminded of an Egyptian pyramid. Nothing seemed more frightening but to lift her head and take a step forward. So day after day, when she thought nobody could see her, she did this routine, pressing her little body to the diorama's glass, protecting her in a way from the silence threat. Nothing scared her the most, not the smiling carnivores from the Jurassic, not the glyptodon stale or ethnographical skull collection, until... One day, when her curiosity overcame the accelerated heartbeats, and with a humming encouragement as a military waltz, I must face my courage song, she took the long leap to unknown. Facing the monster in all its splendor, her knees shivering, her teeth clenching in a rictus of victory, towards the fear of unknown. All that she could think of was, I'm here, I'm watching it, it doesn't make a move. Surpassing the fear, opening a door of tomorrow and tearing off the monster wrapper of her imagination, those were the key steps to a perpetuous curiosity that couldn't be tamed, polishing the road of the young museographer who is standing in front of you today. So, <laughs> stay curious.